Hello, everyone. We are back to torture you again. Well, I'm here to torture you, at least, Ryan. Ugh. I know. Hey, but we have a guest today. Uh, and you guys might see here in the corner. Yeah. Um, that is my lovely wife, Nico, and she is going to be joining us in the workout today. So she doesn't, she hasn't experienced this yet, so we'll, we'll have to be patient with her. What's up, Nico? Hi, Ryan. How you doing over there? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I, um, I'll be doing better after this, though. Yeah, I agree. All right, we got a mover today, guys. Um, we have a few different exercises, and I've been getting some feedback from the handful of you that are watching these. That was a joke. Um, that uh, I need to put this somewhere where you can read it again or write down the different exercises. And I am still figuring out how to have it in a nice spot for you. Um, so as of right now, uh, we're not gonna do that. But we are gonna write them in the description underneath the arrow and uh, we'll figure out a little bit more. Or maybe as we're doing the workout, we can figure out how to put text above us saying which one it is when we're doing that exercise. Yeah, we'll play with it. We can play with it. That's the fun thing about all the stuff I'm learning. Like in real life, I'm training somebody. I, there, there's not text that pops up over my head that says squat, you know? It's kind of fun. <laughs> all right. So we are mixing a little bit more arms in today, but not a lot of heavy arms. This is going to be more of a, uh, we have one that's a little bit lighter, cardio esque -ish arm. The other one is a little bit more uh, strength with stability. Um, we got a little bit of leg, and we got a zinger of an abolicious uh, addition. So I'm going to go ahead and start what I do by explaining the different exercises. So number one, we're doing side punches and forward punches, and we're going to be doing a set of them, and it looks like this. So I'm grabbing a pair of dumbbells. You don't have to. You can have uh, what my wife sometimes likes to use is like wine bottles. Yeah. But what we're going to do is you, you want to start by holding your hands up at your uh, face, kind of mouth, nose area. Squeeze your shoulder blades back. And what you're going to do is in that squeezing back, holding your abs, you're going to punch up to the side at the same time like this. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to stay up, put them right in front of you, holding that. You're now gonna punch in front of you 10 times. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And here's the fun thing. You're gonna do three rounds of that before your exercise is done. All right. Good job, Ryan. Good job, Nico. All right. Exercise number two. This is an alternating chest press on a stability ball. Um, I am, again, using dumbbells. You, again, can use many different devices for your weight or none at all. But the key to this is, or I think, Ryan, you're going to be using kettlebells, right? Yeah. Okay. The key to this is rolling out onto the stability ball, where you can tuck under and come up into a nice, solid bridge where your glutes and abs are engaged holding a nice platform. You're gonna start with one arm up in the air, and at the same time, you're going to be switching them in midair. So it's like this. One, two, three, four, five, we're going with 10, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Holding that bridge the entire time. So you should feel a burn in your rear and be working your arms at the same time. Well, that's cool. I can feel myself like trying to stabilize going back and forth when you do those. If you don't hold your abs, it will try to make you twist. You don't yeah. have those glutes and your abs together. Okay, now we're gonna do a dumbbell squat to press. I have a stack of mats back here, so you can literally squat to a chair 
or you can squat, you know, in midair or to the ground, whatever you want to do. But what you're going to do is you're going to hold the dumbbells about shoulder level. And what we're going to do is go ahead and do different styles of squats that I've been teaching you all. You're going to do them, you know, gas pedal off, gas pedal on, tucking up and under, that sort of thing. You're going to go ahead and lower yourself down until your butt touches the mat. Tuck up, and when you get there, straight press up. Now, in this straight press, I should be able to look up with my eyes and see the dumbbells in my periphery, okay? So you're going to be doing 10 of those. Let me see yours, Nico. The squat first. Oh. So it's a squat to press every time. Tuck under, squat up and press. So when you get into this, what we're going to want to do is squat down, tuck under, come up, and let the top part of your up lead to the press. Okay? How about you, Ryan? Under, squat, press. Good. Those are going to get spicy. Yep. All right. We're already to explaining the fourth exercise which is the V-ups. Everyone loves a good V-up. Um, the key to a V-up is that you want to rock on your butt when you're doing the V-up. And for example, I'm going to be using a Viper, but you don't need anything else. You can use a foam roller the way that I'm going to be using the Viper, or you can just be doing it freestyle. I think Ryan, you're going to do a freestyle, right? But what we do is, I put this in between the feet and the hands. And if you have something like this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna be evenly pressing this up as you rock up onto your butt, okay? Evenly pressing this up as you rock onto your butt. So that kind of helps you get those abs engaged into that V. Ryan, why don't you show them one without a device in your hands? Without? Yep. So he's gonna show you You have to go to that rock up point. Rock up and then touch your feet. Woo, there you go. There you go, and up. Yes, so there's a, yes, there's a good one. So there's, a, there's quite a challenge to it. You can, so that one, he's not up on his butt far enough. And so you can tell that he's, he's thwarted. He won't be able to touch his feet. You have to be able to rock up onto your butt to touch your feet. So rock up, hold it, and go for it. There it is. All right. Ooh. Are you going to be using anything? We'll see how it goes. Okay. <laughs> Let me see you do one. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of, well, okay. Rock up onto that point. Otherwise, you just like kicked your feet over your head, right? So you want to rock up to that point. Yep. And then the touch of your feet and hands should be here. There it is. So if you prematurely try to touch, it's gonna get you. Get you every time. That was a perfect one. Yeah, perfect one. Yes. All right. I think we're set to go. What do you guys think? Ready. All right. So I have another little fun thing. This time in between each round, so we have the, the reps all marked out. This is not an AMRAP again. Um, in between each of these, we're going to do a fun little hopping sequence, which happens to be one of Ryan's favorite exercises ever. And I'm bringing it back to M4SL workouts today. Yes. It is the corner <laughs> hoppers. Corner and hoppers. they look like this. I'm over here. Okay. I think we're right here. You're going to balance on one leg. You're going to pretend like your leg or your foot is in the middle of a box. And in this position, what you're going to do is hop to one corner of the box and back. Boom, boom, woo. Gotta use your glute. Hop to the next one. Boom, boom, woo. And then back. Boom, boom to the middle and to the other side. Boom, boom. So there's four corner hoppers. In between these rounds, we are gonna do, ready for this? 10 on each leg, switching each leg back and forth. So it'll take us a couple minutes. So we'll probably fast forward through that for you guys. <laughs> so after we, um, like
like literally after you cycle through the four exercises, we're going right into that before you go into the next cycle. No, we're going to start with that. We're going to start with that as a primer. Oh, okay, cool. Uh huh. And then we're going to do the four exercises. Uh huh. And then we're going to take a break and we're going to do the whole thing over again. Yay. Yay. <laughs> um, we are filming two, but we're going to do three. Okay, you guys ready? And go. Remember, switch legs in between. Oh, each one? Yep. We're doing 10 total, like five and five? Oh, 10 into each leg. Oh, okay. Eight. deceivingly tired tiring the cool thing is they're multi-directional so they just challenge you in different ways they're a good workout even though there's not a ton of motion so here we go while we're all going get up those weights we are starting together and go one two three four five one two
job, right? Job, Ryan. Thanks, job, Ryan. Hey. Yeah. yeah. That was good. Those arms get a little spicy on this one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> the second round is going to get even more, I think. All yeah. right. So we're just taking a quick little break, and then we're going to go back into the hoppers, and then another set. Nico, how are you feeling? Pretty good. I'm walking on my press weight just a little bit here. All right. She's dropping down her shoulder press weight. A little sore from yesterday. Yo, the stabilizing on those uh, those V-ups after doing all those other things was uh, was a little different than we were first practicing without doing all those other things. Yeah, it all gets a little different, doesn't it? Yeah. That's why I think this time, instead of speeding that up, we should leave it going at the same speed and have yeah. everybody do that pace with us. And then yeah. we step up on the second round, you know? Yeah. Then you guys want technical details on the videos. Okay. Here we go. Hoppers. And go. Oh, same, same leg on three. Woo. Accident. Maybe my count was off. <laughs> You're pretty quick. All right, here we go, punches. And go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, Three, four, five, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go. And 
V ups, man. Yes. God. You so beautiful at him, though. It didn't help that I was laughing at you for yelling at Elka. I was like trying to stabilize. You're like, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. Good job. Likewise. That was that was good. That was real good. He's a bit. All right, so we are finishing a break. We're gonna do a third set, and then you guys get to do your third set on your own. Again, tell your friends about these workouts. Like and subscribe to our channel so more people can find them. If you like them, tell us, tell others. And then on top of that, do more. Do more of these. I, I challenge you to do them all and tell us about it. All right, we'll, we'll feature you, we'll talk to you, whatever you want. What do you think, Ryan? No, I agree. Uh, join us in this, in this time where we can, we can actually take a moment, think about some things, look about things a different way. I mean, the, you'll feel the workouts once you do it. Like, it's gonna feel, I guarantee if you've never done something like this before, it's gonna feel weird and awkward the first time you do it. But you just keep at it. Because when I first started doing these types of workouts with you, I was lost. But you keep at it, you look at what you can do, you try to feel the difference, and eventually it clicks if you're working at it. Oh, yeah, that is so true. Nico, do you have any words on this one? Because you're very fit. You think these are challenging? I think these are challenging in a way that I didn't understand challenging could be. Oh, very cool. That's pretty pretty uh, impressive if uh, some of you didn't know she's an elite crossfit competitor so. <laughs> and now uh, jiu-jitsu artist <sighs> all right all right everyone we're gonna say goodbye we're gonna do our third set we will see you on the flip side talk to you later thanks guys